Yeah. Yeah. Because I want to, I want to get established there, okay. so that at nighttime I can know where you know. You, if you have to walk through the lobby, I don't want them to see you guys at all. You know. I want to see if there's another way I can open a door or something and let you guys in. See what it was is we paid for two people and yeah. not for four, which is really what we had, and we had to sneak in. Maybe it's back there? Where? Yeah. Right there, the big tall building? No, it's not a tall building. So, I've been here three minutes, and I already oh, I think it's better than New York. Well, we, we had a tough time. We had to sweat it out a little bit. He told us to stay in the car while we were hot. The windows are down. We snuck up the back steps with, with all the suitcases, and and lo and behold, the, the, there was a security guard who came around the corner and saw us doing this. Covert operations. There was a security guard by the back door that we exited through. He was watching us the whole way, and my dad was eyeing it down too. The back stairwell, sneaking four people into the hotel anonymously. Uh, the guy, the guy asked for his name and his room, and my dad was like, "Marty Freeze, 306." Freeze. F R I E S 306. He just kept talking so that the guy couldn't ask him any questions, and before long, the guy just got so discouraged with him that he just sent him through before he even finished his sentence. I think my dad in his head felt like he succeeded in thwarting that guy's plan to ask him any questions. It's the small things in life that, that make you feel like you succeed, for my dad at least. Joe Belli politely holding the door for Craig. <laughs> Joe Valley will be sleeping here. There's still the security guard must have called the front desk and said, you know, hey, what, what's with what, all these guys going up the back steps with their suitcases? And just want to make sure everything's all right. Man, if both want to look smart, this won't go. Yeah, yeah. I think it's for four people in this room. Yeah, so you, we, can, we don't need the air mattress then, I guess, right? Yeah. Uh, you don't need to sneak around. Yeah, it's... We do because we only paid for two people. Oh, uh, Craig never forgets where I came from. Never forget my roots. Yeah, so what are you going to do? I don't know. i, I got to find out what Davey's actually having it. Yeah. We just arrived at the hotel. Wait, we just arrived at the hotel in Baltimore. Oh, really? How was it? Good. Oh, nice, nice. Bella ended up coming with us. <laughs> Alright, man. Well, good luck tonight. Alright, thanks, man. Alright, man. I'll see you later. Later. Bye. He had no comment about you being Because I told him already. Oh, you did? Oh. And no sooner do we get in the room and put our bags down and the phone starts to ring. It's the front desk, so... Of course, I was a little bit nervous, but I had to answer it. And then as soon as we got in, we got a phone call, mysteriously, that really alerted my dad. And he picked up the phone very, you know, scared. And, and, uh, and she was just asking if everything was okay. What? Let's see. You're to us. Hello? When she called, uh, you know, I made it sound like, oh, we're perfectly happy with the room. And we were. It's just that with the going to be four of us and not two. Yes. Oh, yes, perfect. Everything's very nice. No, I don't think so. 
Thank you. Appreciate it. Bye-bye. Yeah, she said she wanted to make sure everything was okay. <laughs> Close one. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. A lot of these places, because of the security concern, they have surveillance cameras like in the, in the stairwells and stuff like that. Believe it or not, this is probably the easier way to get out. Because you have to go walk a mile in the elevator. Beforehand. It was very dangerous. Um, we could have spent the whole night out on the streets of Baltimore. It's too much headroom. First, I was a little put off by it. Uh, you know, my, my conscience told me we shouldn't be doing this. You know, I just had that gut feeling. But I said, hey, let, let's see how this pans out. And it turned out to be quite the adventure. And uh, I'm glad we did it. It was very fun. Immoral, but fun. Oh, tough times.